Hey guys, so it's April <laughs> and today I am going to be showing you um, some top five gift ideas for anyone really. You can gift most of these to like your friends, your family, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, okay? And they're last minute gifts. So if it's the day before Christmas and you still haven't made anything, don't sweat it. I'm here. If it's the day before their birthday, or if it's an hour before their birthday, and you haven't got anything, don't worry. I've got your back because all these also are made out of things that you can find around your house pretty easily as well. So you know, most of the time you won't have to take a trip to the shop or anything. Well, I did because I'm a, I'm a uni student, so I don't have shit. But still, let's begin. So first we've got this selection box, okay? It's very easy to make, all you need is a box and some sweets and maybe some jars or something. So basically all you need to do is put some sweets and chocolate into the little jars, fill the box up with sweets and there you have it. Make sure it's all propped up nicely, maybe add some chocolate bars in there to make it even better hopefully your lid will shut and like mine and yeah everyone loves sweets and chocolates anyone who's like a sweet and chocolate addict would love this it's quite quick and easy you don't have to buy a nice box like i did from the stationery shop you can you can just get a random cardboard box can't you from i don't know the previous whatever thing you bought from amazon and then maybe get the box and wrap it up with wrapping paper, that'll look nice and fill that with sweets, it's up to you it's up to you and you can fill it up with cheap sweets and cheap chocolate it can be very simple and it can be very inexpensive it can be as expensive and inexpensive as you like that's the great thing about a selection box okay and it, it has a lot more sweets and chocolate in it than a, than a selection box that you buy from the shop so it's pretty good The second thing is this lovely box, okay, it's made out of a card, it's made out of a Christmas card, this one, because it's coming up to Christmas soon, so I have quite a few Christmas cards around, but, you know, you can, if it's not Christmas when you're living, you can literally make it out of a birthday card or whatever, all you need to do is get the card, cut it in half, the front cover bit, all you need to do is draw two diagonal lines from each corner of the um, card then where the X kind of meets, where the two crosses meet and form like an X shape that's the middle of the card so you fold each gem edge kind of thing of the um, of the card towards that X and um, onto that X and then once you've done that and you've made some creases you chop some you chop I don't know how to explain it you, you can see it on the screen right now then fold them in solo tape it you know just copy off, off my off the screen and you can do the same with the other piece of the card but try and trim it possibly trim it a bit more than what I did and it'll fit on better and then there you go the first thing, you, the first bit you did, which was hopefully the top of the card, will be the front of the. Um, will be the top bit of the box, and then the other bit will be the bottom. It's quite a good little thing because it's a nice little box because you can keep jewellery in it. You could put sweets in it, okay? You could put some sweets in it and give it to your friend. Here you go, a box full of sweets. I think it's a lovely way to perhaps deliver a little gift or maybe put a bit of jewellery in there that you got from like pound shop. <laughs> I don't know, it's very cute, it's nice. Why not?
third thing is some lip balm isn't it pretty it's a lovely like red color it wasn't supposed to be red it was supposed to be pink but you know and it smells of vanilla okay. to make this you just put some va a tablespoon of vaseline into a jar like a microwaveable one then put in a half a tip half a teaspoon of vanilla vanilla essence and a half a teaspoon of well half a teaspoon of whatever essence you want depending on how you want it to smell and half a teaspoon of whatever colouring you want food colouring I chose pink food colouring which made it like a dark pink colour and then you attempt to mix it together a bit then microwave it for two minutes then once it's been microwave for two minutes take it out of the microwave and um, mix it up and as quick as possible mix it and put it into the um, into the little container I used a old Vaseline container and then try and mix it with something small keep mixing it so it's all nice and then mix it mix it for about a minute until it starts to harden a bit and then hopefully it'll be fine um, make sure all the ingredients are properly mixed in and it should turn out pretty cool it, this is really nice it's, it's lovely it tastes of vanilla it's lovely I'm really glad I made this next to make this little present with sweets in, hidden inside we'll need a what's it called like a toilet toilet roll tube you know an empty one then just follow the tutorial it's hard to explain okay all you need is the toilet roll tube the um wall not wallpaper wrapping paper and the sweets and and some um cell tape or glue but preferably cell tape And once you've done that it's all lovely and nice finally we have our last item it's a glass a water marbled glass okay so if you look inside to the bottom you can see it's got a bit of a water marble effect to it the bottom's water marbled it's lovely it's really pretty it's my favorite design so far it's just it's gorgeous of course if you do this the glass needs to be hand washed not through a dishwasher or anything but it's it's really pretty it lasts quite a long time and if you get sick of the design just get a cotton cotton wool pad put some um, some nail polish remover on it jobs are good and wipe it off have another go and get a different pattern every single time you do this you get a completely new new a new neat pattern that it's completely different to the previous one okay it's almost impossible to recreate your previous pattern to do this of course you're going to need the glass you're going to need um, at least two nail polishes I used three but you can use as many as you want put loads of little drops of it into a jug that you don't mind ruining a jug or a bottle that you don't mind ruining and you can mix it about um, with a sharp tool like I, I used a pencil then then get the glass place it 
quite far into the um also helps if you put salt tape around the rim of around the um bit of the glass. So you know it's just you know it's it's just neat to it. The design ends up neat till you get one in. So then hold it there for like ten seconds, take it out, put it up, put it upside down to dry, it's fine. Just follow the tutorial. But if you do put sellotape on it, make sure you take the sellotape off straight up, straight after you've took it out of the bowl, okay? Otherwise it's going to go horrible if you wait for the nail polish to dry, it just won't work. And also, um, make sure you leave it at least five hours to dry, okay? Otherwise it's just not going to go well. I left mine. I, I've left mine like five hours now and it still leaves overnight, that is recommended. Thank you very much for watching guys, please like the video if you found any of this helpful and if you enjoyed the little tutorials and if you liked them, like the video comment below to let me know what you thought to all these designs if you decide to recreate any of them please take a picture and tag me in it on twitter or instagram the link my links are down below in the description because i would love to see your design so like and comment on it and i really want to see how they turn out thank you very much for watching guys bye